he has garnered the respect and the admiration of his fellow ministerial peers, as well as the young adults in his Sunday school class. In addition for his leadership role of the Sunday school department, his wife, Evangelist Cheryl Peterson, who heralds from an apostolic heritage family, was born and reared at Wayback. She too was, has been a faithful member and has served in the capacity of Sunday school teacher, missionary and missionary president. Her presence was most welcome at our missionary Sunday dinner, as we know she had baked something good. <laughs> Let no man despise thy youth, but he but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith. <laughs>
Amen. So that is the beginning of this text, but that's really not the front of the text. Uh, uh, we'll read the scriptures, but there's something God wants to tell us as the church, as the people of God, and concerning the work that he has for us to do. And what he's, uh, just like Paul poured into Timothy and gave him a lot of instruction on how to carry himself. It was like a lead, personal leadership class. And as he began to tell a man, uh, Timothy, how to conduct himself, how to carry himself as a leader, the things he had to look for in leadership. But at the end of the day, after all of the training, uh, we need to put that training in action and gain some experience. Are y'all with me? And so there's a, there's a word that's surrounding that. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Uh, that he is to do, and then he begins to describe the opposition uh, that he's going to face. Uh, amen. In these perilous days, he lists out all the opposition he's going to face. Uh, but he tells him at the end of all of it, uh, I want to let you know, uh, here's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, but you need to continue in the things which thou hast learned and have been assured of. Uh, in other words, uh, when opposition comes, affliction is going to come. Uh, the Bible tells me uh, that many Afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. And when you live right and live godly in Christ Jesus, amen, persecution is going to come. But that's the reason to throw up your hands and give upon God. He tells Timothy now, I've taught you all the principles, I've given you all the secrets, I've shared my experience that I've had with God. Sickness might come. Come on here, somebody. 
worse might come. I believe we're getting some, some bad and worse right now. But that's no reason to stop. Just like you said and made no commitment on that day, you said no matter what, what God said, I'm going to stand. I will continue. No matter what comes or what goes or who comes or who goes, I'm going to stay and I will continue. God bless you.
And it is my solemn promise that I will continue the apostolic doctrine, discipline, and worship of this church. I declare that I will continue the faith once delivered to the saints, which is built upon the prophets and apostles, with Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. I further declare to lead others of like precious faith throughout the world, promoting global evangelism and the unity of the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this divine moment that you have uh, so solemnly chose. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this, your servant, whom uh, we prepare to examine. But I'm just saying, God, that you have consecrated and ordained for this day. We pray your blessings, Lord, upon uh, this ceremony. We pray your blessings, Lord, upon uh, this candidate and upon uh, this church. And Father, as we go through this, um, this portion of, of this day uh, to consecrate and to commemorate, Lord, what you've already done in the heavens, to see that thing manifest within the earth. For your blessing, Lord, upon everything that's done here today, that not only will you endorse, but Father, uh, that you will also cause the momentum to go forward. We give you thanks now, in Jesus' name, amen. Examination. Pastor elect David Peterson, as a pastor in God's holy church, you are called to represent the Lord Jesus Christ and his church to the world. You must govern and uphold the laws of God, proclaim Christ's resurrection, interpret the scripture, preach the gospel, and testify. To Christ's sovereignty as Lord, Lord, and King of Kings. You're called to guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the church, to celebrate and to promote for the administration of the sacraments of the new covenant, to ordain elders and deacons, and to be in all things a faithful servant and a wholesome example for the entire flock of Christ. You will share in the leadership of the church throughout the world. Your heritage is the faith of patriarchs, apostles, prophets, pastors, martyrs, and those of every generation who have looked to God in hope. Your joy will be to follow him who came not to be served but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. As first among equals, you have been chosen and affirmed in your ministry. Calvary Temple has appointed you the Executive Council of the D.C. Delaware Merlin District Council Incorporated of the Pentecostal of Sons of the World has ratified and affirmed their trust in you by claiming your appointment. He was called as pastor of Calvary Temple to fill his trust in obedience to Christ. To obey Christ. Will you be faithful in prayer and in study of Scripture that you may have the mind of Christ? Will you boldly proclaim and interpret the gospel of Christ, enlightening the mind and stirring up the conscience of God's people? I will in the power. As a servant of God, we encourage and support all baptized believers in their gifts and ministries, nourishing them from the rich of God's grace, and pray for them without ceasing, and celebrate with them the sacrament of our redemption. I will, in the name of Christ, the shepherd and the bishop of our soul. Will you guard the faith? This of the church. I will.
Lady Peterson there. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Father, I ask, Lord, as she stands with her husband, Lord, to lead this congregation and to give her strength, God. Yes. And in those moments, Lord, where she's trying to understand what's going on, or even what they have in I pray that there should be a sense of comfort and a sense of peace for him. I pray, God, that as it, as it continues to work together, may their bond ever be stronger. God, that as they stand together to lead this place, I pray, Father, that you will give wisdom and insight to the
The field is white right here in Hagerstown. Amen. This is Hagerstown's hood here. <laughs> Amen. Right and I'm ready to turn some hoods with Jesus' help to put them into saints. Right. Amen. If God said we can do it, we can take this neighborhood, we can take this city if it's God's will. God bless you all. Thanks for coming. Praise God to you all on Facebook and everywhere else. God bless you. Amen. Now don't run off. Pay a meal for you all to go. <laughs> amen. So as we greet one another, amen, you can all go to the dining hall area and take a plate with you to go. Amen. <laughs> Thank you.